Okay, so how do you want to do this? Well, um... Because we got sun action. Yeah. Is there a way to that you're going to be able to get the, the Vista? Hey, everybody. Welcome here to Rosebud School of the Arts and our virtual campus tour. We're glad to show you around to the different facilities and uh, the places that add up to the kinds of education, learning, and growing artists that we do here in this village. And we're starting in uh, an unlikely classroom. This is actually a little picnic shelter here, but what it does for us is uh, highlights the way this valley and its beauty, its history and its legacy is so integral into the life and learning of this place. It's with us all the time, reminds us good things about the bigger picture, the whole of creation that uh, we're using our voices to talk about. And sometimes it's a comfort, sometimes it uh, brings out the longing in us, but it's altogether beautiful. All right, now we're gonna take the tour of town and uh, we'll do it like you do it, which is walk about. All right, we're here at the studio stage, which is a second performance venue and also serves as rehearsal space, class space, all kinds of story magic space. So it's a great black box space, totally got some flexibility. So your seats can face straight on to the theater. We've also done shows where we put seating on both sides or on three sides. And uh, this place houses maybe 75 people and uh, becomes in some ways kind of a second home for some of our students, especially when we're getting really close to opening the show. So this is our set shop where all kinds of stuff gets built. This space, one of the things that's great about its size is like for our main stage, you could lay out whole set pieces, fit them up or do large scale scenic painting on the floor. So you kind of gotta have it, but it's great that we do have it. And of course with the student productions, again, we have supervisors from the different departments help out to um, guide the students so they can actually build what they need to for the show and this is where all that happens and this is our costume shop so we got all kinds of stuff that gets built or some of my favorite is when I hear about like costume pieces that they have to make look really worn out. So the work doesn't only happen in here. You'll have your classic time where somebody's out like running over a pair of jeans in the gravel back and forth with their car to make it look right. The lengths we go to make the magic. And hey, let's head back to the vaults. I can't help but stop and visit this piece of work. Look at this. This is from Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. We got the whole world embroidered onto this thing. Here's our storage. You get lost in here in the best possible way. hats and shoes so we were here on the west end of rosebud okay well london has a west end this is our west end and uh we're gonna head on back now to the uh the gallery and some of the other performing spaces here in town come on let's go this is a student sighting actual living Rosebud School of the Arts student. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you can't really look at the sun. Uh, I know, it's gonna, so blinding. Making a drum run. A drum the drum run. run. Yeah. yeah. Drum run. Yep. Gotta get some McDonald's. What? Yeah. Wow, yeah. covering the basics. We're not even yeah. sponsored. <laughs> this is a special place. So this is the room where the student body often gathers for a chorale, uh, which is our student choir. And there are some community choirs that also meet here, a women's choir, Rosa Cantorum, and another one called Masterworks. This room is very resonant. So when our voices uh, sing together, it uh, adds to the beauty of the music. And uh, this has also been a place where uh, artists from all over the place have featured their work. And right now they're still uh, finishing up the setup on a series of paintings that were done by a bunch of painters who came here to Rosebud this summer for three days. So going to school here is as much about being a part of a community as it is a campus. Most of our students live in basement suites or rented rooms. So you get to know this community and you know, if it takes a village to raise a child, the same, I guess, is pretty much true for an artist. And this outdoor space is another favorite. This beautiful stage space uh, is home to a couple of festivals that we do. The Rosebud Chamber Music Festival is a classical music festival. And then 15 Minutes of Fame is our folk music festival. And uh, we get acts all over from local kids trying out songs that they're writing to uh, some really mature, fabulous Albertan artists or people traveling through. We don't get to go in today. I don't have a ticket. All right, we're gonna go in the actor entrance. Gonna, don't, don't forget this part. Authorized personnel only. All access, all access pass today. Nice. So welcome backstage here. We'll just take a quick look in our dressing areas. Huh? This is a fun space with all the hubbub and energies gather together whenever we perform a story. And uh, right now we're telling uh, a version of a Christmas carol that has just one actor covering all of those characters, all of those words. And, uh, so, but you know, sometimes we have 30 people back here. That gets real exciting. I'm gonna go right on out into the, into the theater. We're gonna come into the theater space here. Oh yeah. So welcome to the Rosebud Opera House where we can have up to about 230 people with us. Here in COVID times, we've been able to host up to 64. These drapes here are uh, based on woodcut drawings by a famous artist, uh, is it Gustav Dory? These drapes were actually printed in Italy. So for students who are here, um, part of the mentorship program for those especially who focus on acting uh, is the, a practicum um, later in the program your instructor may be your colleague, um, working shoulder to shoulder on the stage. Uh, mentorship is our model, and that involves just doing the work, doing it side by side. So whether or not you become a storyteller by vocation or an artist by a lifestyle, we put a lot of faith in how stories teach us about ourselves and each other and what's lasting. So we're back over here. This is the box office for the Rosebud Mercantile. So, pretty much everybody comes in here who's gonna come and experience dining with us and seeing a show. But we're gonna head into the side door here and up to the main studio spaces. These are our kind of main classrooms for Rosebud School of the Arts. One of our main studio space that serves in a number of ways, we do dance classes in here and 
acting classes and have workshops and stuff from time to time. I'm gonna open the space door. And this whole upper floor of the mercantile serves uh, as space for learning and all kinds of theater and music shenanigans. So um, this is what's called Studio North and we can just expand as we need to with our class sizes. And we'll just head into our Studio West space, which is where you'd come if you were here for an open house to uh, learn a little bit more about us through this video and uh, have some conversations. So hope that you've enjoyed getting a bit of a tour and we'd love to have some conversation with you and welcome you sometime to town and to learn more about the training that we offer and the experiences that we offer for story and hospitality. So hope to see you in Rosebud sometime. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. yeah, that's great. Yes.